Tonight at 11, planning a funeral for a loved one is never easy these days. Traditional funerals have recently seen a drop off in popularity as another form of burial is seeing a rise in demand. Local funeral directors say the majority of families are now choosing cremation. Julia Hazel spoke with those in the field. She joins us now with more on the changing trend. Julia. Good evening, Jennifer and Jill. That's right now. Funeral home directors tell me that the cremation rate in our area at Erie County has significantly increased over the past two years. I think that society as a whole has kind of relaxed some of the traditional um, views on, on death and burial. And those views are reflected in recent statistics. According to the National Funeral Directors Association, last year the rate of cremation was significantly higher than a traditional burial. The cremation rate basically in Erie County is hoovering right about 70 percent. So uh, we look at average about 2,800 2, deaths a year in the county. Funeral directors say there are many reasons more families are choosing cremation. But younger generation, as you read the studies, you know, more and more people have less involvement with an organized religion, uh, certain nationalities, that was their way of final disposition. And younger people nowadays seem to everything has to be instant or, or quick. The cost is also a driving factor. Local funeral directors say the average cost of a full burial is around $10,000 compared to cremation, which is typically around $2,500. But the shift to cremation is also impacting the bottom line of funeral homes. But they're renting a casket versus having to purchase a casket. They're not having to buy a gray space, burial vaults, and et cetera. So uh, a lot of those items are reducing the, the bottom line of, of their funeral bill then. Yeah. Nancy Duskus says with 50% of their services being cremation, they've had to get a little creative. There's not a lot of ways that you can um, balance the budget on the bottom as much as a very thin margin line for businesses. But we, it's our part just to really be creative on our overhead with the staff. Um, one thing local funeral homes are doing to make up for lost revenue is hosting celebrations of life for those that have been cremated. Now, funeral home directors also tell me that they're going to continue with hosting those events along with other things that they can do to help any kind of family. Jennifer. All right. Julia Hazel live in our control room tonight. Thank you.